Hey you guys, it's me Gemstone at tarifahealing.com. This is your weekly reading and this is for Virgo. And I'm going to be using the Ludi Lescott Tarot. And your very first card is the Ace of Wands reversed. So that's what it looks like right up. But you're showed up like this. Um, and then you have the Two of Pentacles right up. And you have the Ace of Pentacles right up. So what it's kind of telling me is because you have two ones, it's about new beginnings, new things that you're trying to create for yourself. But I feel like there's going to be a delay to these new things. The Ace of Wands, when it's right up, can mean things being fast moving. But when it's reversed, it can represent delays. It can represent delays in terms of like maybe just the process is being delayed. But it also could be representing that maybe you are delaying the process as well. Like maybe you... Um, like the ace of wands is almost like when you're inspired to do something and you just know that that's what you want to do when it shows up reverse you're questioning yourself you're not sure if that's what really what you want to do or what direction you really want to go into it also can represent feeling uninspired or not feeling passionate about something maybe as passionate as you need to be with the ace of with the two of um, pentacles it's kind of telling me that maybe maybe it's the two of pentacles kind of energy that is actually putting the brakes on the situation because the two of pentacles because it's a two card it can represent having to balance things having to think oh is this the better option is that the better option so again it's like you're you're in the process of choosing but you haven't really defined what it is that you're you want to do yet it also could be saying with the two of pentacles that maybe other issues are playing a factor in your life maybe this is a financial issue that is stopping you from doing the thing that you are inspired to do like maybe you really do have some you know ideas about things but then you think to yourself how can i do that how can i afford to do that how can i um really make this thing happen in you know like in reality uh, because the Ace of Wands can be very, um, very ambitious, but you know you can have a really great idea and you can be very ambitious, but it doesn't mean that it's actually going to happen when you actually put it into practice. So it could be like that kind of thing that is also delaying you as well. But then with the Ace of Pentacles, it could be saying that maybe for some of you guys, this is um, a new financial opportunity. This is a new. Uh, way of working this is a new business um that you're thinking about that you're trying to do um but again you may not know exactly what it is that you want to go into you may know that you want a new job you may know that you want to make some more money doing something else but you have to really think about okay how do i actually do that um what am i actually going to do what business am i going to run what um what am i going to sell what am i going to um you know how do I even go about doing this? <laughs> you that's like you might be at that stage of things where it's like you. But then because these are both one cards and then you get a two card, you got cards that are like representing the very beginning of a process. So I almost feel like that's also why you might be confused because maybe you haven't given yourself enough time to really be able to think about things. Like maybe this is literally just something that you thought about and so you just need to give yourself that time to kind of plan and build on those ideas so again this might be the very beginning of something that later on down the line again the more thought out um it is and the more like you work on it and really devote you some effort towards it you may actually see something later on down the line but again it's, it's difficult to say when these cards show up because basically it's showing that things are so new that it could go in any direction at this point this could be something that you decide to work on or could be uh, like a passing thought that just you you never end up working on like it just comes in and then just kind of goes away so it depends on what you want to do and and again how committed you are to really turn this into something tangible so um yeah that's that card and then underneath you have the five of cups so the five of cups is kind of saying that maybe that's another thing that could be delaying you too maybe you're you're maybe you're delaying things because of feeling like um you know what if this thing doesn't take off or what is what if it doesn't happen the way i want it to um 
you know, or, or again, you may have people around you that might be telling you these things as well. You might have people telling you, oh, this idea won't work. This idea isn't that good. You know, will it really make you money? That kind of thing. So I almost feel like your own thoughts might be delaying your process. Um, again, maybe because you're just thinking, you know, kind of ne maybe more on the negative side of things maybe you're thinking more about or oh, why this situation may not work versus you know how can I make this work you know so it's kind of saying that if you have something that you're in a very beginning stage is trying to do um, it's very important that you protect your ideas from people that could be deemed as haters <laughs> or people that could be you know just not encouraging towards you especially if it is a good idea um, and again, you know, don't be afraid to fail as well. Like, that's something that even I struggle with. Like, <laughs> and being that you're a Virgo, I know you definitely, definitely don't want to fail at nothing. Like, you want everything to be perfect. You want to do really well in everything that you do. But at the same time, it's kind of saying, do not be afraid if an idea doesn't work out. At least you tried. Like, you have to try. If you don't try, then you don't know what what's going to happen you don't know how things are going to turn out and I almost feel like because either you're you might be judging yourself or your own capabilities or somebody else might be doing that to you I think that that's also what might be stopping you from pursuing something and um and I think that you might be disappointed if you decide to not go ahead with something only because of someone else's negativity or maybe even your own negative thinking or thought process so you know work on it try to do it anyway especially if it's something that does mean something to you if it if it doesn't make you feel any sense of passion or it doesn't really inspire you then okay just leave it alone but if it actually if if you have an idea and you actually do think to yourself do you know what, that does sound like a really good idea then i would say you know try and build on it and see where it goes so yes um I was just about to bring it to a close and then like something came into my mind that could be going on with these cards as well. So let me just say, even, and that's what came into my mind just now, it could be saying that this week you could be actually having two job opportunities as well. Maybe two lines of work may come through for you. Maybe one of the lines of work is something that is very lucrative, like money-wise, or maybe you could be making more money from this opportunity. Um, but then again, even if you're making more money, it may not be something that inspires you. It may not be something that excites you. It could be boring. <laughs> it could be tedious. Or you might find it tedious. So that could be another situation that is coming through as well. Like maybe you get two job offers or you get a job, one job offer and, and that's kind of how it's feeling um, for you. Or maybe even both are kind of feeling like that for you. Um, yeah, you might find one just doesn't make you feel like interested in that one thing and then the other one might just be that it's just good for money it or finances but then i don't feel like it's it might fulfill you in 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 other ways so it's almost like you're dealing with two situations where they're not fully what you want even if they are two options for you so it could be like that as well so yes and i think that for you if you if that is how it's playing out for you i think that you're going to lean more towards the one that pays you more money um, more than anything so yes um, peace and blessings to you I'll see you bye